Physics students are often confused by the concept of Gaussian surfaces. Now here's the thing, Gaussian surfaces are not actually real. They're imaginary geometries that we use in physics. Now we don't just draw these shapes for the fun of it, we actually use these imaginary shapes to determine characteristics of real shapes that have electric charge. So let's say, for example, we have an insulating sphere with a uniform charge throughout the sphere. If I were to tell you the size of this sphere, you would be able to calculate the charge or the charge density of the sphere itself. But now let's say that I gave you all of this information and I told you to draw an imaginary Gaussian sphere on the inside of the real sphere. By utilizing a ratio, you could actually figure out how much charge there is enclosed in this small imaginary shape. You can also draw the Gaussian shapes to be bigger than the real shapes. These Gaussian geometries will enclose all of the charge, and you can use them to figure out how the electric field behaves as you get farther and farther away from the center of the sphere. So even though these shapes are imaginary, they can be a huge lifesaver when studying electricity.